Good morning my friends and Mr. Echo. Today I would like to present about feminism in adult house. First, I will explain to you about feminism. What is feminism? Feminism is a series of social and political movements and ideologies that have the same goal. The aim is to build gender equality in the political, economic, and personal. Feminism in society is defined as unfairly prioritizing men over women. It is the belief that men and women shall have equal rights and opportunities. Standards for women during this time period. The first, women were seen as weak and emotional. Second, economy and the society dictated that women shall work in the home, taking care of home and family. Third, women were expected to be dependent on their husband. Adele House is not only one of Henry Ibsen's famous place, he is also a great contribution to feminist literature. Ibsen never explicitly identified himself as a feminist, but some of his speeches and acquaintance proved that he was concerned with the women causes. This is also proven by his play's development and characters. The protagonist play by Nora has a lot of credit and attention. Where Nora is the symbol of modern women in terms of choices and behavior at the end of third and final act, this study will not only focus on her but also others' characters, be it male or female, whom they have contributed to this story. Main character of a doll house. First, Nora. The protagonist of the play and the wife of Thorval Helmer. Nora initially seems like a playful, naive child who lacks knowledge of the world outside her home. She does have some worldly experience, however, and the small acts of rebellion in which she engages indicate that she is not as innocent or happy as she appears. She comes to see her position in her marriage with increasing clarity and finds the strange to free herself from her oppressive situation. The second, Thorvald Helmer, Nora Husbands. Thorvald delights in the, his new position at the bank, just as he delights in his position of authority as a husband. He treats Nora like a child in a manner that is both keen of patronizing. He does not view Nora as an equal, but rather as a plaything or doll to be teased and admired. In general, Torval is overly concerned with his place and status in society, and he allows his emotion to sway heavily by the prospect of society, respect, and the fear of society's scorn. Feminism in Adult House First, feminism is patriarchy according to Willis 29, page 81. British feminism has been marked by two distinguishing features. First, it emerged through other radical political discourses. And second, it was preoccupied with documenting and analyzing the effects of culture and ideology on women. This type of feminism saw art, literature, and life as inseparable. The way women were portrayed in literature has an influence on the treatment of women in real life. Patriarchy is the social system which men hold primary power. In family life, father is the head of family. He holds authority over women and children. In the household life, husband has big power in family. Husband control the bigger basic matter in family necessity, and wife position is weak because her life is under control or of her husband. The second, feminism is social William L. O'Neill 
introduced the term social feminism in his 1969 history of the feminism movement. He used the term to cover women involved in municipal civic reform, settlement houses and improving labor conditions for women and children. For them, O'Neill said, women's rights was not an end in itself, as it was to the most ardent feminists. O'Neill contrasted social feminists with the hardcore feminism of women. Social feminists typically accept stereotypes of women as compensated, nurturing, and child centered, while O'Neill's hacker feminists were often alienated from the convention. Patriarchy system in adult house. Patriarchy system in social system which men hold primary power. In family life, Patricial is a system of relation between men and women, where men dominate women and women life under pressure. The Patricial system in adult house show the domination of men in family life. Nora Helmer, as mature character, is trapped in her house. A result, she cannot do activity freely under pressure. In adult house, Nora works in domestic area, is put in subordinate position and her husband work outside the home hold the family rules in all aspects. It condition makes the inequality in their household because Torval can earn money and do activities but Nora cannot. He has full power to manage and hold his family. Nora cannot use family finance without Torvald's permission. Ibsen is one writer in Norway who deplores the attention on the emancipation of women. Adele House reflects an individual woman asking of her rights. Ibsen's concern about the position of women in society proved to life in Adele House. But our home has been nothing but a playroom. I have been your tall wife, just us at home. I was father's tall child, and her the children have been my dolls. I thought it great fun when you played with me, just as they thought it great fun when I played with them. That is what our marriage has been, Torvald. In the end of the story, Nora leaves Torvald and her family. It is the symbol of Nora's freedom and her effort to fight against the patriarchal system. She gives back her ring to Torvald and slams the door. It becomes the end of the, her marriage. Henry Imsen opens the way for women to fight the men's domination. They must be brave to take an act, a big decision, to reach freedom against men's domination. Conclusion From the review of the play Adele House written by Ibsen Henrik, a number of themes come out clearly and include our parental and filial obligation, unreliability of appearance, marriage and several role of women, it is a good play that wherein reading as it teaches a lot despite being written back in 1879. The essay is a critical analysis of the play, a dull house written by a Norwegian playwright, Ibsen Henrik back in 21 December 1829. It meant to be the most famous of the writer's play and has been read in many situations of learning. The play is written in three main acts and has been very influential in what human can taught.
The essay will briefly summarize the play plot, list the characters, and discuss in details the main themes of the play. It is worth noting that in any pieces of art, it is the characters that are used to bring forth the main objective of any place or literature. On the same note, the setting of the play is Helmer Apartment, in which all the three acts take place. Similarly, the bell room and sofa study form part of the play setting where Nora Dins and some of stake action taking place in that order. Last, thank you for attention guys.